This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeep and Chakravarti. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, we appeal to our listeners to be vigilant and to get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. Please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-239-78046 and 1075. And for Meghalaya, helpline numbers are 14410 and for emergency, 108. The Election Commission of India yesterday announced revised dates of voting for the first and second phase of 12th general election to the Manipur Legislative Assembly. The date of voting for first phase would be 28th February, while the voting for second phase would be held on 5th March now. The last date for filing of nomination papers for the second phase is today. Earlier, the Commission had announced the schedule for first and second phases to take place on 27th February and 3rd March, respectively. But some Christian organizations and leaders of churches had appealed to the Election Commission to fix another date as 27th February being a Sunday, the Christian faithful may face problems in casting their votes. The Chief Administrative Officer Northeast Frontier Railway, Mr. H.S. Yadav, has said that the dimapur kohima new broad gauge line project is progressing at a smooth pace and the Prime Minister's office is monitoring the project very keenly. He said, this, he said this during a review meeting of the dimapur kohima new broad gauge line project with Chief Secretary of Nagaland, Mr. J. Alam, and other senior state government officials at Kohima yesterday. Mr. Yadav informed that the phase one of the project from Thansari to Shukovi has been completed and the train will start plying on the route soon. Phase two of 28 kilometers from Shukovi to Ferima is under construction and is expected to be completed by July 2023. The phase 3 covering 38 kilometers from Ferima to Zubza is expected to be completed by March 2026. Nagaland Chief Secretary Mr. J. Alam appreciated the railways for taking up the much needed project which will benefit the state and its citizens. He said that Deputy Commissioners of the area have been instructed to make sure the project is implemented smoothly and assured all necessary support from the state machinery. After decades of waiting, internally displaced Bru people in Tripura have started to live in their permanent houses constructed under the Quadripartite Bru Resettlement Pact signed in the year 2020. The Office on Special Duty for Tripura Bru Rehabilitation and Relief Project Manas Dev told AIR News that 1,000 houses have been constructed and beneficiaries have already started residing there. Financial benefits are also being extended to them. The Brews had fled Mizoram in the year 1997, fearing ethnic clashes. Since then, they were sheltered in six camps in the North Tripura district. Ending the 23 years long imbroglio, the government of India announced 600 crore rupees rehabilitation projects and the Tripura government extended its arms to give permanent settlement to the ill-fated Bruce. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma has said that the National People's Party-led Meghalaya Democratic Alliance MDA government has accorded adequate thrust to neglected regions of the state. The MDA government in, in the last four years has initiated various welfare and infrastructure projects in South Garo Hills to accelerate development. Addressing a gathering at Bagmara yesterday, he said that the ongoing construction of Captain Williamson Sangma Memorial College at a cost of 12 crore rupees will create higher education facilities in South Garo Hills. The Chief Minister also mentioned about the ongoing implementation of Bagmara water supply scheme in the district. Meghalaya yesterday reported 120 new COVID-19 cases, while, when, while 194 people also recovered from the viral disease. Four more deaths due to COVID-19 related complications were also reported. The state had 1,020 active cases on the last count. Meanwhile, there will be no more night curfew in Meghalaya from this evening and schools in Shillong will be fully functional from Monday, including classes 1 to 5. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day.